So guys, once again, welcome back to Ahoy Navigos. We are back again with our date circle sailing concept. In last videos, we were discussing about how to determine initial and final courses of grade circle. Also, we discussed about spherical triangle, its properties, how spherical triangle can be solved using cosine formula, also Napier's rule. If you haven't seen those videos, you can get to that video, see them, clear your doubts, come back. In this video, we'll be discussing about how to determine and find position of vertex of your grade circle so first of all let's see what is vertex vertex is the closest point on grade circle to the pole or highest point reached by grade circle every grade circle will be reaching at a point closest to the pole that will be called as your vertex that is the highest point reached by your grade circle track towards the pole and as we know there are two poles we have two possibilities for vertex that is when your course becomes 090 true or 270 true as we know initial course and final courses of great circle track is different and during your whole voyage your course keeps continuously changing and at some point when your course becomes 090 also 270 these are the position at which your vertex is happening so now let's see that is every gc has two vertex as we said we have two poles and there are two vertex for every gray circle track our concern is only the closest vertex so vertex we will be taking will be the closest vertex so to determine vertex we should know our initial and final courses that we discussed in last video how to determine your initial and final courses and we need to see in this course where is 090 and 270 coming that means if you know initial course and final course you need to see where 090 and 270 is coming if they're coming between them if it's coming outside or before your gc track and also i already i said the closest to one that is we have 209 and 0 and 270 the closest one is what you need to select that is when vertex is inside that is only happening if either 090 or 270 is coming between your initial and final courses this is the only condition when your vertex is inside your great circle track and vertex is outside if 090 and 270 is coming after your final course or before your initial course that means not in your great circle track that is before happened before your initial point or happened after your final point so that is a condition when vertex is outside your great circle track now we need to take always your closest vertex that is very important we have two vertex since i said so always take your closest vertex we will discuss in examples in further keep watching the video so after determining vertex we need to find the portion of vertex as we know to find portion of vertex latitude and longitude to be found we know latitude can be found by finding polar distance at the point of vertex at the point of vertex if you connect a line to the pole that is the polar distance of that vertex that can be found out using your spherical triangle properties that we discussed earlier we will show you how it is done if you get that 90 minus polar distance will give you latitude similarly longitude can be found by finding angle p that is your d long between either initial point vertex point or of gc or final point and vertex point of gc that means initial point a will be also having a longitude connecting to pole and final point will also be having a longitude meridian connecting to p if you know the vertex longitude also if you can find the angle between them using your spherical triangle theorems you can find your d long and you can get the longitude of your vertex so let's see how they are done we have divided two cases the case one is when vertex is coming inside that is when i said your 090 or 270 is coming between your initial and final courses an example we have taken 
from initial A point to B, you have initial A point 30 north 40 west and final point 50 north 40 east. And you already see solved this spherical triangle and you got the value of angle A 047, angle B081. And if you subtract the polar distance, uh, if you subtract 90 minus latitude, you'll get this A to P that is 60 and 40 here. And it's already solved initial cos is 047. As we discussed earlier, how to determine your cos and final cos is 099 from this 180 minus 81, that is 099. So first thing what we need to do is we need to determine where is vertex coming. If you look at this, your initially 047 and finally 099. You can clearly see that 090 is coming between them. That is just before 099 final course. That means vertex is inside your dead circle track. So it will be somewhere like this. So the first thing what we do, determine vertex. We discussed 090 is between courses. So vertex is inside. As I said, the closest vertex here 090 is the closest. As you can see, 270 will be coming so far. So we take 090 as your vertex. Second thing, we need to determine position of vertex. For that, we need to find lat and long of your vertex. So to find lat, we find polar distance that is PV, P2 vertex. You need to find the lat that is 90 minus polar distance will give you lat. So if you find PV, you can get your lat. So let's see how we do that. And to find long, as we discussed, we need either angle. If you see angle A, P, V, we can get the angle, this angle, and you know initial long. If you get this angle, that is the D long to your vertex, you can find your longitude of your vertex. Similarly, if you can find this small angle B, P, B, you know B longitude, you can apply your D long and find your vertex. So either way you can do. That is your choice which triangle to choose so i'll show you how it's done so i am um, for my concern we can take either apv or also you can take vpv two triangles i'm taking here apv so in triangle apv angle v is 90 degrees as since i said when your course become 090 meridian to your pole will be 90 degrees to your great circle track so this angle v will be 90 degree so as we discussed, we know we can use Napier's rule when there is a 90 degree on your spherical triangle. So we are coming with our Napier circle. We have five parts, two upper parts and three lower parts. And we know V is equal to 90 degree. So we go clockwise in this triangle, APV, we go clockwise. That will be AV first. So fill in, we go clockwise to fill the Napier circle also. So the first point will be AV. The next coming will be lower things will be 90 minus. So 90 minus A. Next one will be 90 minus PA. And the next one will be 90 minus P. And the next one will be this PV side. PV. So as we discussed, we need to find lat and long. So to find lat, what we need is PV. PV and what we need is for longitude is APV and what we have is 90 minus PA because PA we know that is 60 and value of VAP that is angle A 047 that we know. So if we know these two and we need to find these two, we have a Napier's rule taking this as mid part, these two opposite part. Also to find this, we will take this as mid part and this as adjacent so we can find. So let's see. We took PV as mid part, that is sine of mid part, that is sine PV is equal to cos of opposite into cos of opposite. Here cos opposite is 90 minus PA and there is 90 minus VAP. So the value substituting cos 90 minus PA, 90 minus 60 will be 30 and 90 minus 47 will be 43. So PV is sine inverse of cos 30 into cos 43. We'll get the value as 39 degree 18 minutes is the value of PV. So as we discussed, light is 90 minus polar distance, that is PV, that is 90 minus 39 degree 18 minutes, that is 50 degree 42 minutes north. Since we are going from north to north, this will be always absolutely north. So next thing what we need to find is angle APV from this Napier's. We'll keep this as mid part and these as adjacents. We'll take sine of 90 minus PA, this as mid part is equal to adjacents. It will be tan 90 minus APV into tan 90 minus PAP. 
so what we need to find is apv so we will keep it here and we will bring tan 90 minus vap this side so sine 90 minus pa divided by it's multiplied here so it coming this side it will be divided tan 90 minus vap so the value substituting 90 minus pa is sine 30 90 minus vap is tan 43 so 90 minus apv will become tan inverse of sine 30 divided by tan 43 and we will get a value of 20 degree 28 degree 12 minutes so it's 90 minus apv is 28 degree 12 minutes so obviously apv will be 90 minus 28 degree 12 minute answer is 61 degree 48 minute so we found apv is equal to 90 minus 28 degree 12 minutes that is 61 48 minute as we see here, the APV is the angle over here, that is the D long between angle A longitude and V longitude. So that is the D long between A and V. So now we need to find what is longitude of vertex. So longitude of A we know 40 west and D long is 61 degree 48 minute. So longitude of B will be 0 to 1 48 minute is since we are traveling from a to b in easterly directions so from 40 west and d long easterly 61 48 your longitude of v will be 0 to 1 48 minute east so we found our portion of vertex that is 50 degree 42 minute north we already found the latitude here and longitude as 0 to 1 48 minute east so that will be an answer so the next case we will be discussing about Case 2, when the vertex is coming outside your grade circle track, so we have your grade circle track initially 035 and the angle B is 105, your initial course is 035 from your meridian to your track, final course is 180 minus 105, that is 075, true. So you have initial position 15 north and 25 west, also 35 north and 45 east. So let's see how we go ahead with this. First thing, we need to determine where is vertex coming. As we know initially 035 and 075 neither 090 or 270 is coming in between so we can say vertex is outside so we need to determine where it is it's if it's before your initial point or after your final point we have two ways 090 and 270 if you look into it closest one will be 090 and after final 075 so our vertex will be coming outside gc after final course 090 being the closest as i said we need to take the closest one we have 270 also but that is far away so we took that 0901 so our vertex will be somewhat like this see the diagram after your final course somewhat ahead that is the point when 90 degrees to your meridian gc track so let's see to determine the portion of vertex as we discussed lat can be found by finding this pv polar distance that is lat is equal to 90 minus pv also longitude we need to find either apv with respect to your initial longitude we can find d long and find your final or else you can find it by bpv if you you know the final long with respect to the angle if you find you can find your longitude of your vertex also so let's see we can track either triangle apb or bpv or your whole triangle apv in this case i am taking the triangle apv so we know angle v is equal to 90 degree so we can use napier's rule as we discussed we have a napier circle five parts we have v is equal to 90 so we will be filling it clockwise from here we move clockwise after v will be coming av so it will be side av then after that it's coming angle a and as we discussed the down portions will be 90 minus so that will be 90 minus vap that is a angle and the next one will be 90 minus the side pa after this next will be angle p that is apv so that will be 90 minus apv and the upper part will be the final thing that is pv and now as we discussed to find lat we need to find pv and to get longitude we need to find apv or bpv so in this case we have apv here if you find apv you can find your longitude so the two things what we need to find from napier circle is pv and apv and what we have is 90 minus PA and 90 minus VAP. PA value we know from the latitude polar distance 75 and VAP we know that is your initial course 035. So if we know these two things, we can find PV and APV as taking PV as mid part and these two sides as opposite. 
also for with apv we'll take another case where 90 minus pa will be the mid part 90 minus apv and 90 minus vap will be your adjacent so as we discussed sin pv that is sin mid part is equal to cos 90 minus vap opposite side into cos 90 minus pa 90 minus vap is 55 and 90 minus pa is 15 that is cos 55 into cos 15 so your pv will be sin inverse of cos 55 into cos 15 the answer is 33 degree 38.7 as we discussed, this is a polar distance. So your latitude will be 90 minus PV. That is 56 degree, 21.4 minute north. The next thing, sine 90 minus PA, that is tan 90. For the second case, taking 90 minus PA center, tan 90 minus APV and 90 minus VAP. Substitute the values. You will get sine 15 divided by tan 55. 90 minus APV will be 10 degree, 16.3. And now your APV will be 90 minus 10 degree 16.3, that is 79 degree 43.7. As we discussed, APV is with respect to your angle A point, initial point A, and your vertex D long. So this is your D long A to V, and we know the longitude of A, that is 25 west. When you traveling easterly, and you have a D long of 79 43.7. So 25 west plus 79, 43.7 east will be 54 degree, 43.7 east. That will be your push longitude of your vertex. So we found portion of vertex as longitude. We already found 56, 21.4 north and longitude. We found 54 degree, 43.7 minute east. So this is how we determine the vertex of a grid circle inside or outside and how to find the position, latitude and longitude of your vertex. I hope you guys understood. If you have any doubts, put in comments. We will get to you. Stay tuned to Ahoy Navigos for more interesting videos. This is Ahoy Navigos signing off. Thank you.